Milk Procurement Bulk Bulk milk procurement is basically procuring raw milk directly from vendors in tankers. This can be done in two ways. First way is that vendors bring milk in tankers directly to the premises of plant. The second way is tanker from company goes to farmhouses and collect milk from them. Tanker having more than one chambers can collect milk from more than one farmhouse in different chambers of same tanker. Process of bulk procurement starts from gate entry. All the tankers of various vendors filled with milk is entered at gate first. Details of vendor and tanker number is captured at this moment. Now the whole process of bulk procurement can be tracked by either gate entry number or tanker number. Once tanker is entered in the premises, it is sent for weighment. If there is provision of electronic weigh bridge, then weight of tanker can captured automatically. In case there is any problem in weigh bridge integration, then option of manual entry is also there. At this moment, gross weight of tanker is taken and is sent for QC. At the time of QC, all parameters of milk are tested. Testing values can be recorded automatically in system if machine is integrated in the system. There are various ranges defined for parameters in order to do rejection or give incentive deduction. Based on testing parameters, milk can be rejected and sent back. There is a provision of special approval of rejected milk also and can be passed by giving some deduction to vendor. After QC is done, milk is transferred to various silos and then tear weight of tanker is taken to get net weight. Vendor is being paid based on the net weight and fat and SNF measured during QC. Deductions and incentives, if applicable, then that is also considered while creating invoice for vendors. Stock of milk is increased as soon as SRN is created for vendor. Based on the payment cycle of vendor, invoices are created. Since the system is integrated with financials also, financial entries are also done in the system as soon as invoice of vendor is created. There are various reports like bulk milk summary, milk stock, quality control so as to have an overview of bulk procurement. In order to handle all, we have following masters, transactions and reports. By clicking on milk procurement bulk module, you can see three links, setup, bulk transaction and reports. Click here on setup to find various masters. These are vendor master, tanker master, parameter master, price chart master, bulk, vendor price chart mapping and many more. Let us see some major masters used in this module. This is one of the important masters used in this module. Master Vendor Master All kinds of vendors are defined here in Vendor Master. Here, user can enter code, name, address and other details like bank details, tax details, payment terms, mode etc. If payment to the user is to be done through RTGS, NEFT, then its bank detail along with account number and IFSC code is also mentioned. There is an option to create vendors with parent-child relationship. In this feature, invoices created for child vendor can be paid to parent vendor also. Based on the type of vendor, it can be categorized as A, B and C. Tanker Master Tanker transporters are those transporters which carry milk from various MCC to MCC plant. These transports carry milk in their tanker. All the vehicles used by tanker transporter are defined here. There are five methods to calculate freight of transporter. 
There are five methods to calculate freight of transporter, which are mentioned here under basis of freight payments. At a time, only one criteria can be selected. Freight of transporter is created based on selected criteria and is paid later on. Now, another master is parameter master. Parameter master. Parameters of milk which needs to be tested can be defined here in parameter master. Here, user will enter code, description and select type and nature. If any transaction needs parameter as mandatory, then mandatory needs to be checked. One of the most master of bulk milk procurement is price chart master. Price chart master, bulk. Price chart for bulk milk procurement can be created using this screen. Price chart for milk is defined based on fat weightage, SNF weightage, fat ratio, SNF ratio and standard rate. Based on formula provided fat rate and SNF rate is calculated as fat rate is equal to fat weightage divided by fat ratio multiplied by standard rate. SNF rate is equal to SNF weightage divided by SNF ratio multiplied by standard rate. This formula will be used to calculate fat rate and SNF rate of milk received from various vendors. And lastly, vendor price chart mapping. Vendor price chart mapping. Price chart defined in the system needs to be mapped to vendor based on its rate. When we map any price chart with any vendor, then that milk rate is applicable for purchasing milk from that particular vendor. However, we give option to change it at transaction level. Now, let us see some of the important transactions of this module. As you can see, we have various transactions in this module. Let me explain you few important transactions. Transaction Gate Entry As the name suggests, this is the first step of bulk procurement. All tankers which carry milk of various vendors enter in company premises and their entry is captured through screen. We can see this screen has two sections. Contractor Milk In Plant MCC Transfer In for bulk procurement, we will see contractor milk in section. This screen is used to do gate entry of tanker. Tanker which is received from vendor is taken in through this screen having contractor milk option. Here, user will select the tanker number, vendor, chalan number and quantity. This will be carried throughout the transactions. Now, the second option plant MCC transfer in. Any tanker which comes from MCC after transfer is received at plant or MCC through this screen with plant MCC transfer in option. Here also user will select tanker number from MCC gets displayed along with transfer out number under chalan number column. Rest all data gets automatically filled at gate entry level. Once gate entry is done, next step is weighment. Weighment Weighment of tanker done can be tracked using this screen. Once tanker is inside the premises, its weighment is done and its cross weight is taken. If the weigh bridge provides digital output, then its weight can be captured automatically in the system. In case there is problem in connectivity, then manual entry option is also there. This screen is also common for bulk procurement as well as transfer in. Based on radio button, activities are differentiated. Next step is quality check. After gross weighment of tanker, its quality check is done. We have given option to reverse the operation like you can first do QC and the weighment. 
quality check. Milk which is received is tested in lab and its data gets entered in this screen of QC. As we can see at the top we have option to capture data automatically from machine also. Based on the range defined in master it can be accepted or rejected. Here also user will select tanker number. All details will be filled automatically. Rest all fields related to parameters of milk are filled by user. Some parameters are captured automatically, some are manual. Based on range of parameter defined at master level, milk is accepted or rejected. In case of rejection, there is option of special approval. It gets accepted with special approval and some deductions are applied for vendor. After passing QC test, milk gets unloaded in silos. So, next step is unloading a tanker. Unloading The screen is used to when unloading of tanker is to be done. Unloading of tanker is done at various silos available in the premises. In companies which do not have weigh bridge, reading of load cell is captured to measure net weight of milk. Difference between final reading and initial reading of load cell can be considered as net weight of milk. In case of weigh bridge, after unloading, tear weight of tanker is taken from weighment screen and net weight of milk is calculated as cross weight minus tear weight. After all activity done related to operations, user will do data entry related to financials. For this, we have two screens, bulk SRN and milk purchase invoice. Bulk SRN Bulk SRN screen is basically used to create financial impact of stock of milk. SRN is created based on milk received and the rate chart applied on it. Provision for vendors are created as soon as milk is received and SRN is created. Now we have another screen for financial impact of these bulk purchasing milk. Open bulk milk purchase invoice. Bulk milk purchase invoice. Here in this screen, user will have option to create purchase bill for vendor. User will select date range of SRN for which he wants to make invoice. Selecting date range will display all SRN belonging to that selected date range. Total of all SRNs that is total fat kg, SNF kg and total amount of the document is displayed at the top. This document will be used for payment to vendors. Print format is available if click on print button. Transaction ends here. Now we can see some important reports of the module. As we can see, there are many reports related to bulk milk module. Let me show you some important reports of module. Report Bulk milk register report this report shows complete procurement of bulk milk in this report. Date of bulk procurement will be displayed along with FAT and SNF. This report is bulk milk register which shows total quantity of milk procured along with all parameters of milk which are tested. Next report is bulk milk summary. Bulk milk summary Milk summary report data will open, which will show details of quantity fat kg, SNF kg and total amount of milk which needs to be paid to vendor along with its document number. Any kind of incentive or deduction given to vendor is also reflected in this report. Milk bill summary This report is bulk milk summary document wise. Number 3 Tanker milk quality. This report shows quality of milk which is received in tanker at plant. With the help of this report, user can accept or reject any tanker. We can view details of milk quality with all parameters. Milk stock ledger. This report is milk stock ledger which can be generated in both unit of measurement kg 
and later. This report is milk stock ledger which can be generated in both unit of measurement kg and liter. Tanker at plant. This report shows details of tankers available in any plant MCC. This report shows tanker in plant whose gate out has not been done and still lying in premises. This completes bulk milk procurement.